Hi, I'm Jackson Sven, Director of Marketing and Communications at the CGA. And I'm Jessica Thornton, a media intern and one of the five other interns at the CGA this summer. Welcome back to another CGA 60, our first of the summer. Our events have been postponed for a couple months due to the coronavirus, but we are now back operating. Uh, the Carolinas Golf House and our Hall of History is not currently open to the public, but we do hope to see visitors in our hallways very soon. That's right. The CGA is dedicated to the well-being of our members, staff, and volunteers. So we are following the tournament protocols to ensure your safety. You can find those protocols on our website at carolinasgolf.org. Now let's start the clock and catch you up on all the action from the last two weeks. First event back was the Jimmy Anderson Junior Boys, where Adam Hunt went wire to wire at Jacksonville Country Club to win by eight shots. Hunt's 11 under par total destroyed the old championship record of 6 under par. The following week, Anna Morgan pulled off the come from behind victory at the Carolinas Women Amateur Championship. Morgan, a rising sophomore at Furman University who plays for the golf team, said that she wasn't expecting to be playing golf anytime soon, so a win was definitely exciting. Morgan didn't take long to secure her second victory of the season at the Women South Carolina Golf Association State Amateur. This weekend, we held the 5th Carolinian Amateur at Keith Hills Country Club, home of the Campbell University Fighting Camels. Tim Bunton, a rising senior on the East Carolina University men's golf team, entered the final round in a three-way tie for first place, but was able to separate himself from his fellow competitors and ultimately win by six shots. This week, we have three events going on simultaneously, including the NC Junior Girls, the South Carolina Amateur Match Play, and the North Carolina Amateur Championship. You can follow along for all the latest updates at carolinasgolf.org.